guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, please and please, I'd like you guys to subscribe to this channel, like and drop a comment. So basically, today we are going to be looking at the question of food magnets. So, other food magnets we are talking about, surface tension and capillarity. So we have here a question on surface tension and capillarity, which is calculate the angle of many spots at each perimeter if the capillarity pressure of mercury in a 2 mm slab tube is 0.5 mm. Assuming, assume the surface tension of the mercury is 0.51 newton per meter. So before we proceed into solving this particular question we have here, now let's explain what is surface tension and capillarity. What is surface tension and capillarity? Surface tension is basically um, a tensile force which, which always acts at the surface of a liquid or, so, or a separation of a liquid and a gas. So what I am trying to say is that when the, when the coercive force of the molecules in a liquid at each surface goes, um, come together or create a vascular cohesion, then the surface tension is formed. Then we have capillarity. Capillarity is basically the rise or fall in, of a liquid in a capillary tube. So basically on surface tension, you are going to be Basically, we have the makings of only two kinds of liquid, which is um, the one, the second one is not actually liquid, it's actually a solid uh, in a liquid form. So we have um, liquid and mercury. So liquid and mercury are basically like two, two, two kinds of liquid we well, basically talk about in surface tension and capillarity. So now I would like to explain capillary action in a liquid when a, a, a capillary tube is inserted in a battle before I solve this particular question. So, since we basically have two kinds of liquid, we have water and mercury. So, the capillary action is water. When the capillary tube is inserted in a part of water, what is experienced or what do you, or what do you notice? Now, when the capillary tube is inserted in a part of water, the water tends to rise through this tube. But in case of mercury, now let me explain what I mean. Now, for example, this is a pool of water. Now, this tube is inserted into the pool of water. The water will rise at a certain height in this tube. Forming an angle of contact, theta, of the meniscus, between the meniscus and the body of the capillary tube. So, which is called theta. But in case of water, theta is regarded as zero. That is negligible. So, in case of mercury, Mercury. Now, when mercury is inserted into a bag of mercury, now there is no rise in case of just like water, mercury does not rise, it falls. Now, when this capillary tube is inserted into this bag of mercury, mercury will fall below the standard height of this standard height of. Mercury in this part. So it will fall below the standard height. So at some point it will fall below this height of the bath in to fall below the, the height of mercury in the bath. So this is the standard height at which it is supposed to rise in case of, of water, but it's going to fall at a certain height below the level of mercury in the bath. So this is the mercury. Now there's also an angle of contact between the mercury and the capillary tube. So, angle of contact between mercury and the capillary tube, which we call theta. Also, now in this case, there is a standard angle of contact of between the mercury and the capillary tube. So, theta, the standard value of theta is 0. Point, or sorry, 478 degree. So, but in this case, you have to find the angle of meniscus at each perimeter in the capillary pressure of mercury in the 2 mm glass tube is 0. 0.5 mm. As you surface tension is 0.5. So the medium that we are going to be solving with the is mercury. So before we solve this particular question, we are going to apply our parameters. So now before we proceed, there's a standard formula for calculating, or there's a formula which we make use of in calculating some in calculating surface tension problems and capillarity problems in good methods. So that formula says the capillarity depression or the capillary rise, which is H, is equal to 4 times surface tension plus theta divided by density times acceleration due to gravity times diameter. So basically, if you can remember this formula, 
when you are giving sophistication problems, it will be very, very easy to solve. So, we have to find the answer of many stores, which is the answer of contacts, which is theta. So, before we proceed, let's write out our parameters. So, basically, we are giving a 2 mm glass tube, which is the diameter. So, giving D is equal to 2 mm. And we are giving a capillary depression of mercury, the 2 mm glass tube is 0 0.5 mm. So, capillary depression, since it's mercury, so it falls. So, that's why it's capillary depression. So, capillary depression is what? 0.5 mm. Assume the surface tension of the mercury is 0.51 newton per meter. So we have surface tension which is 0.51 newton per meter. Now, not only that, we are giving the STM, we know the standard value of um, standard um, value of density of density of mercury, which was 13.6 times 10 raised to power 3 kilograms per meter cube. Now, what else we have? We also have a constant here, which is G. Acceleration due to gravity is 9.61 newton per meter squared. So, sorry, not this per meter squared, meter per second squared, because it's an acceleration. So, now, since we have all these standard values here, what we just, what we just need to do is to repeat it into this particular equation we have here. To calculate my theta. So to make it very easy, I will make theta subject of formula. So to make theta subject of formula, let's cross multiply. So for multiplying with this, we have h times density, acceleration to gravity, diameter is equal to 4 sub times surface tension times cos theta. So dividing through by 4 times surface tension, 4 times surface tension, cos theta is equal to h times density times acceleration to gravity times diameter divided by 4 times surface tension. So basically what we just need to do is to take the, the inverse of cosine. So my theta becomes the inverse of cosine of h times density times acceleration due to gravity times diameter of the capillary to divided by 4 times surface tension. So what's left here to get to the value of theta? by imputing these values into these values. So what do we have? Theta is equal to cosine. The capillary equation which is giving us 0.5 millimeter. So now we can't use, since we have a millimeter here, millimeter here, millimeter here, um, but we have a millimeter here, so we have to outline the units in such that they are equal. So basically we have a meter here, we have a meter here. What, what, what we need to do is to convert this to, to meters, then we can have a straightforward unit. So converting 2 millimeters to meter, we have 2 times 10 raised to power minus 3 meter. And converting 0 0.5 to millimeter, we have 0 0.5 times 10 raised to power minus 3 meter. So if you these values, in these values, in this equation we have, we have H, which is the capillary depression, which is 0 0.5 times 10 raised to power minus 3 times the density which is 13.6 times 10 raised to power 3 13.6 times 10 raised to power 3 times the constant which is acceleration due to gravity is 9.81 times the diameter which is 2 times 10 raised to power minus 3 2 times 10 raised to power minus 3 then divided by 4 times surface tension which is 0.51 newton per meter. 0.51 newton per meter. So solving this, simplifying this, and taking the shift of cosine using your calculator, then we have my angle of many scores for my angle of contact is going to be 86.25 degree. So this is basically how to solve any question on surface tension and capillary. What basically means 